This is an illegal Lego weapons arms dealer. His name is Jeff. Yeah, Jeff. And Jeff has quite the storage unit filled to the brim with illegal Lego weapons crates. Worth 2.5 billion on the Lego black market. And the US Army has rolled up and completely surrounded Jeff. Jeff is now out of luck. All of his weapons have now been rounded up and he's off to jail leaving an opening in the illegal Lego weapons market. And that's where I come in. Oh wait, sorry, you weren't supposed to see me in the fursuit. And that's where I come in. It's time to rebuild a Lego arms dealing empire and make a whole lot of kizash, baby. To start off our illegal Lego weapons ring, we're gonna need some heavy guns, man. We got this M2 machine gun from BrickTactical.com. You can use code DAILY over there if you want for a little extra on your order. Either way, this M2 machine gun should pack a pretty meaty punch and hopefully keep law enforcement away this time. We saw what happened with Jeff. We do not want that. Alright boys, this thing is actually pretty baller right here. It is pretty much completely customizable. What I went for was a medium barrel as well as the scope right there so it can shoot down aircraft if need be. But there are even three other sized barrels here. So you can have it however you want. There's also a blast shield that you can put on it to protect it. And then there's this small little crank thing that I didn't realize went here so your soldier can draw back the ammunition. Oh, that's really detailed, that's nice. Yeah, this puppy's an absolute beast. I'm gonna go ahead and plop that at the top of the crate right there, but we're gonna need some soldiers to man these guns. That's where this KSK soldier comes in, or in German, Commando Specialkraft. This dude got all sorts of gadgets and stuff. Well, let's get him set up. Check this dude out. He's got himself the ACOG firearm. He's got night vision goggles. He's got radio on his cheeks, and then clenched betwixt his butt cheeks is a knife. He got the lit tactical vest as well as the pistol holster. Only thing he's missing is side printing right there, which honestly looks really bad. They need side printing there for this figure. Other than that, he is a flawless, gorgeous man. Honestly, I don't even want to put him on the browning. I think he's, he's better off just guarding our boy, you know? We, we need guards as an arms dealer. There you go, I'll pay you an unspeakable amount of money. But beyond that, I'm also giving out things to you guys. Stay tuned towards the end of this video to find out what we're giving away today, and last video's giveaway winner will be in the description below, so be sure to check that out as well. If you guys do enjoy these videos, please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe with notifications on, and comment down below. Either way, let's get on with more weapons. Okay, now one soldier, probably not enough. Let's bring in this boy right here. This is a gas mask wearing Spec Ops Commando. Yeah, he's probably doing some illegal Lego war crimes, utilizing this case right here. You don't want to mess with this dude, except I do have to say, it's, it's a little bit boring how most of these soldiers have some sort of M4 rifle. So we need to give him something better. I've got just the thing with this P90 right here. It might look small and innocent, but it's actually a pretty baller Lego weapon. You see, you can actually go ahead and twist this out and the magazine comes out. It is a replaceable magazine for the P90. Really great for stop motions as well as mocks if you want a reloading soldier. I shall name him the Black Taquito. And I think the Black Taquito needs himself a ballistic shield and this one has the Punisher symbol on it. Dude, check this man out. He is ready to stop basically any US Army assault. Oh my god. Look at these dudes. They're looking fly to death, baby. But they're probably going to need some heavier weaponry to be completely honest with you. And I do have another 50 cal right here. This one, not quite as great as the Brick Tactical one, but it is golden and I think that makes it kinda cool. Why don't we give this puppy to the former SAS soldier right here. And now we've got an international crew of former statesmen. These fellers weren't making enough on their army pension, so they decide to join me. But we do need product to sell. That's why I bought this, an MK19 GL. And here we go guys, the MK19 Grenade Launcher. It's a little bit less customizable than the Browning from Brick Tactical, but it is still very nice. And we have a customer. Oh my goodness, it's David Hasselhoff. <laughs> The Hoff. Don't mess with the Hoff. Don't hassle the Hoff, baby. Here we go. He may be a lifeguard, but he still needs some weaponry. Something 
that he can't buy as a U.S. citizen. I, I don't think he's a U.S. citizen though. Um, maybe he is now. I, I don't know. But either way, another happy customer. <laughs> what the heck has this video turned into? Well, what's interesting is that we don't just make Lego weapons for people to buy. We also have Lego weapon services for people to utilize. And this guy is going to be one of those services. A heavy weapons bodyguard. Look at this dude. He is one beefy, beefy boy. Oh, shield popped off. Okay. He's got himself basically like a skull thing as, as a head, which looks really scary, honestly. Uh, and he is just covered head to toe in armor. It would be real, real hard to crack through this puppy. He comes with a ballistic shield that's see-through, clearly has a little trouble staying on his hand, and he's also got a pistol. That's not exactly the best armaments for this guy. I feel like with such a tanky boy, he should have something a little bit more powerful. So we had Hans go and retrieve the Flemenwerfer as well as the Flemenwerfer backpack. There. Now you can go and burn down all the villages that you like. Actually, will this fit on his back? Because that would, oh, it does. Yes! Okay, now he is a flamethrower god unit. What? That's so... <laughs> That's awesome. That's so cool. That's so freaking cool. There you go. You can hire a boy here. Tank for for free if you want. Not for free. No, you must pay. Just like new customer has to pay. Home Depot man who is very disgruntled employee. He decides to buy Molotov cocktail to take care of the patriarchy. As well as large machine gun which fits in palm of hand. It's made of aluminum, very lightweight, although it does not really work, okay. Maybe not made for Lego, not entirely sure. Oh god, okay, I'm sorry. We have an unhappy customer right here, um, but he can just chill there with his Molotov cocktail. How about that? Yeah, okay. He's not allowed to leave, so he can't give us a bad review. Moving on, we do have another customer, and it's a very famous customer right here. Oh yeah, this is uh, Brick Tactical's version of Maverick from Top Gun. Tomb Cross himself. And he has a sign that says, Because I was inverted. And it's inverted. <laughs> That's actually kind of funny. I like that. Tom really just wants something that'll explode, so I've gone ahead and snagged this pink rocket launcher for our boy. It's beautiful, just in time for the Barbie movie. We do have one more special operation soldier right here that we're gonna go ahead and build real quick. Here's our PJ soldier. And no, that does not stand for pajamas. It stands for Air Force Special Tactics Para Rescue Man. And this dude is in fact equipped for some para rescue. First of all, he's got, again, another like M4 variant. I don't know why all these soldiers just come with M4 variants, but okay. Um, he's also got a little pistol holder, but then on the back here, he has himself a little radio backpack as well as a little morphine up his butt, so he can go ahead and give that to whoever he needs, a little butt morphine. Who doesn't love that? And then of course he comes with sort of the standard gear as well. This guy looks very, very cool. I, I must say, he might be one of my favorites. I feel like the KSK over there would be my favorite if he did have those inner arm printings. The SAS soldier is pretty cool too, and the Spec Ops boy is too. But the PJ, I don't know. He's just nice looking. He's, he's a very swell guy. But we have more military technology, such as dog. Specially trained to sniff out any sort of explosives or illicit substances. This is a specially painted canine German Shepherd dog with a tactical bulletproof vest. Perfect puppy companion. And we do have more illegal weapons such as this. This puppy right here is a very, very sophisticated weapon system, baby. Surface to air missile ready to take out pretty much anything and it's got heat rounds, standing for high explosives, anti-tank. But you can really use it for vehicles in the air and on the ground. Let's sell this to the Santa Claus fighter right here. Did y'all ever see Violent Nights? Pretty banger movie. But we have a lot of explosives going on here, so we might as well go ahead and assemble the EOD disposal team. This is just a mini little kit right here to take out any explosives on the battlefield. So now, when you find a little stick of dynamite on the ground with your metal detector, you've got your EOD agent right here with his tools, of course, to uh, sniff it out. And then you send in the uh, little robot here. This robot, very good. It has camera up top to see, it has flashlight, and it has robo arm to go bluey. <laughs> Very nice. All of this black market stuff, of course, is for sale, but you have to find the right buyers. We found a few, but I think this guy is going to be our best one. Ghost from Modern Warfare. He's always in need of weapons, baby. Another brick tactical custom right here, and, uh, oh, hi, cat. <laughs> if you couldn't tell, I do like brick tactical quite a bit, and this might be the best detailed custom that we have today. 
My cat, he's just destroying everything. That's fine. Oh, he's digging in a box. Oh my God, dude. <laughs> what is he doing? Sir, those are my Legos, sir, sir, sir. <laughs> oh God, no weapons in the world can stop this. My man, my man, put the German down. Put the German down, sir. <laughs> God, no! Stop it! <laughs> oh my lord. Okay, the cat has been evac'd, and Ghost is now safe once again, but look at the detailing on this guy. Absolutely incredible. Built-in satchel, all that good stuff. Printing all around, even on the legs, in every nook and cranny, baby. People are always worrying about, like, oh, the arms moving is going to make the thing scratch off and stuff like that, but, like, not really. He just looks absolutely baller. Oh, my cat's back. Oh my... Sir, you, you need to leave. Okay, while he plays with that, I do have one more mega weapon. And that would, oh God, okay, everything is crumbling. That would be the M1 Abrams tank right here that we're gonna go ahead and build. We stole it from the US Army and it's time to set this puppy up. Okay, you, you need to leave. Don't eat the mega weapons. These are deadly. He don't care. And here is the build. Honestly, it's not my favorite. Oh, God. That's what I'm talking about. It's definitely very, very flimsy. And the they didn't give me enough tire treads for this one to be really movable. It's very clunky. This one moves fine. And overall, I just don't love how this looks for an M1 A1 Abrams. It's just not my favorite. I think maybe if I get another one of these, I'd do Brick Mania instead. This is a rare battle brick L. But it did come with this little minifigure right here. And so he can be the driver of the Abrams. And the man can thus protect the rest of the Lego weapons, baby. Oh, it looks saucy. Let's go ahead and get into that giveaway. For today's giveaway, I do need to hold on to a lot of these modern soldiers for a special video I have planned. However, I do have some other guys I can give you. First of all, big lot of custom and authentic Lego weapons. Then an Australian World War II soldier, a US Coast Guard soldier, the original bandit, a Hungarian World War II soldier, and finally, Top Gun Maverick. All of these folks, and these weapons will be given away to you guys. All you have to do is hit that like button, subscribe with notifications on, and comment down below your favorite weapon or minifig that you saw in this video or what you think should be made in the future. All right, guys, huge shout out to all of the new channel members, including Dallin McDougal and Jameson Explores. Thank you guys for joining, and thank you to Conrad Hunter and Death Reaper for rejoining. All of your names are on the board here. Thank you for your support. If you guys wanna join the channel, click the join button next to the subscribe button. I really appreciate y'all watching these videos and supporting the channel. Thank y'all for watching. Please be sure to hit that like button and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.